In this video, we'll take a look at Batch Guru tool, Redaction Maker. Redaction Maker will take any redaction and it will copy and paste it to all the pages in documents in your saved search. Let me show you how it works. I have saved search of four documents. I'm going to go to the first document and let's pretend I want to redact headers in all of these emails. I'm going to click on the redaction tool. I'm going to highlight an area I want to redact and now I have a redaction. Now, how do we copy and paste it? Well, there is a right click shortcut where we can say batch guru copy redaction. We'll click on that and we'll get what's called a JSON representation of this redaction. You want to make sure this is the only redaction on this document when you copy in it. And the way this JSON file works, it has coordinates like X for top left coordinate uh, and Y. This is where redaction starts and it has a width of 2000 pixels going this way and a height 351 going down and so on. So you could save this redaction to a text editor for use later. What we're going to do is just copy it, close this box and we actually going to delete the redaction we created. We're going to go back and we're going to go to batch guru and we'll select redaction maker and we are going to specify our saved search that we're going to run on, which is our saved search here. We're going to select, should we apply it to every page in a document or just the first page? Because we're doing emails, we're going to select first page only. And here we're going to paste our redaction that we're going to be applying to all the documents. I'm going to click on save and I'm going to run it. Now, if you don't have that right click copy, you would click on this add copy redaction to viewer and that will enable right click on the image so you can copy redaction into this pop-up box and then copy and paste into the actual batch guru batch. So let's run it. And now that it's done, we're going to go back to documents and we're going to click on the first document. And now redaction is back, no surprise, we put it there. So let's go to the next document and we see the redaction is there. So very nice, I can select it, make minor adjustments to it, go to the next document, again, select, move it up and down because uh, size of the header will change on different emails. But you see, all I'm doing is I'm just making a quick adjustment. I don't actually have to make a new redaction. One of the most frequent uses of this tool is actually not to redact headers of an emails, but to remove Bates numbers from already stamped images. So if you have an outside production or somebody else gave you uh, images and they've been stamped in a certain way and you want to clean that out so you could produce again or do something else with the images, well, you can go to the bottom, you can create reduction on the bottom of an image, run this tool, apply to every page, run production to burn the images in, and then reload the images back into relativity and you have a clean set of images and a good number of warnings that needs to go with this tool. Uh, this tool does write into a redaction table, so you want to make a backup of that table. Definitely make a backup. Uh, you can export it out to CSV. If you don't have access to that table, ask your IT department to do it. Um, what you should do is have your reviewers stop making new redactions and then make a backup of a table run the tool, confirm everything worked well, and then let reviewers continue making redactions. And one thing you want to be very careful with is pages of different size. When you use this tool, you want to make sure where you're going to place redaction on other pages are the same size pages as the one you put a template on. Uh, meaning if you put something on the bottom right corner, copy it and then try to paste it on a page that's on landscape, well, it's not going to get pasted in the right place because that page has completely different coordinates and you may experience issues as, as a result of that. And lastly, once you're done running this tool, you want to visually go and look at the images to make sure everything worked as you expected. And that's it. That's the Redaction Maker tool. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.